Okay, looks like we're all set. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's go. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to my stream. I'm Pierre, your host. I hope you're all doing okay today. I know that I am. So, my friends, let's continue working on our painting. What we are going to do first is go over and take a quick uh, look at what we did yesterday, and then we'll take it from there. So, what did we do yesterday? Let's check out a quick recap. Well, basically, we added all the details to our plants. We uh, colored them the day before, we added details to them, and then eventually we added the first coat to our Zen Rebel Devil guy. So that is basically what we did yesterday. And what are we going to do today? So today we're going to continue. As I feared, we are going to have to put a second coat of this light gray. I can tell the dark gray is fine. Uh, I'm not surprised since I put it on so thick yesterday. But the light gray, you can see a lot of brush strokes when you're standing where I am. Of course, from far, you don't see them. But when you are here, uh, they are rather apparent. So we are going to work on, these, on this guy, try to get him further along and finish him off. Uh, maybe just do the eyeballs as well and then but first I'm going to start off just by adding a little bit of clouds into our sky of our jungle scene so that is what we are going to do I'm also debating if I shouldn't put like a Macau parrot on this painting so I'm keep going back and forth on that I kind of like the painting the way it is now but I don't know what I might do is just finish the whole thing when I do the black outline and everything. And then if I feel still that kind of wish that parrot was in there, well, I'll just go back and I'll add it later towards the end of the painting. It's no big deal. So let me just grab my knife. We'll put a little bit of white paint on this palette. And I'm going to... Clean off my knife. Where, where's my rag? There he is. So, clean this off. Put the knife away. And And then I'm going to grab a little paintbrush right here, soak it just for a few seconds, take a look at my painting and see where we're going to put that cloud. I am going to bring camera number one in closer like that. You can see exactly what I'm doing. Not sure that's a great, good idea, but we'll do it anyways. So I put it right like that. Make sure that I'm not standing in front of it, which I'm not. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me just get my paint ready. I could just mix a little bit of gray. There we go. I had some gray on the background from yesterday. So I'll just mix that in with my white paint. There we go. So, so let's switch over to camera number one and let's see if we can add a little bit of these clouds in here. Just a little bit like that. Get rid of it. I have a little too much paint on my brush. There we go. Just want to get rid of some of this.
just like that. And that's about it. Don't want to put too much there. I'm sorry. Going to get a little bit bigger than I was hoping for. There we go. So. Very good. Just like that. Okay, very good. So, step back for a second, and that looks all right. So now let's go back to our uh, to our nuclear guy here, our masked bandit, and now we will make some gray paint for that as well and I'm going to try to keep it that same shade that we have there if possible or something very close to it I guess it doesn't really have to be exactly the same I'm going to start adding details to that as well and then I will have to go back into our darker gray work everything out let's make this you know, just bring everything so it looks a little more professional. What am I looking for? My black paint, which is right here. There we go. There we go.
So we got that. What am I going to use to mix these two together? So I'm going to use this smaller brush. I used a little bit larger brush yesterday, and I didn't really have the control I wanted. This is the brush I used yesterday. I'm going to use one that's a little bit narrower. At least I'm going to use this to blend in both colors. Uh, Make this dark gray here, light, light gray, I should say, not the dark gray. God, hopefully I didn't put too much black in there. Hopefully when we start blending everything together, I will find the right hue. There we go. Just want to make sure everything is nice and homogenous there. I'm going to add some water to it too because it's very thick. I don't want it to be quite that thick as well. Oh, this looks like it's very close to what we want. I think I'm going to have to switch back and forth with paint brushes, several paint brushes, just to get the narrow parts right here done. So let me compare. Let me grab another brush, one that is not too thick. In which I have control over, like this one here, I guess. I must have used this one yesterday because it's still a little damp. So let me try this and see. Let's compare our grays here. So it's slightly darker. Slightly darker, so I am going to, and again, knowing that it's going to get even darker as it dries, I am going to add just a little bit of white to that. I had a feeling it was going to be a little dark. So let's just add a little glob of white. There we go. See if we can't bring it down a notch. I get slightly lighter. So again, cleaning off the knife. There we go. Oops. There we go. It is making it slightly lighter, so that's cool. That is what we wanted. Now let me just make sure it's nice and homogenous so we don't have white or dark streaks in this. I want everything to be kind of... There we go. So let me try again right here just a little bit. And it is almost the color of what we had here, just, I think, a hair darker. But that's okay because I think that's fine. I think uh, it'll just give a little bit of uh, some sort of shading to the whole thing, which is fine. So let's switch over to number one here, and I will uh, just... It's going to be slightly darker. I'm not going to put it everywhere. I'm just going to 
put it in certain places to give it some sort of a, like I said, some sort of a shading, just like that. Same over here in the nose area. And like that, when it dries, it will make a, it'll just give a little bit of effects, which I think will look quite nice. Let me just bring in this, that. Again, I'm just not doing this everywhere. So I just want there, here and there. When I go put the little bit of the darker shading, it will uh, it will change a little bit everything as well. All this will give it some sort of a, a slight effect at the same time it, that it's hiding the brush strokes. So that is excellent. That is kind of what I was hoping to do. So this is where I need that thinner brush to do this part right here. I just wanted to fix a little something on the on the thumb. I'm going to do that right now. Just like that. Again, I will come back to our, our new gray here. Which honestly I thought was a little darker. It's not too bad, so maybe. Well, we'll see. I think we have to wait for it to dry really to really make some sort of an idea of what it's going to look like. Right there, I'm having some white streaks, which means I didn't blend this gray the way that I thought I had. Just gonna rework it for a few seconds right now.
So. A little bit. Right. Subtle. Hein? Il bouge? Ouais. Dis-moi ton vernissage, c'est pas ce soir là ou à l'ouvre-boîte, c'est jeudi prochain? Le 9. Ah, le 9 décembre. Ah, ouais, non, tu, tu me ah, ah, oui, tu me rappelles. Ben, c'est toi qui me fais peur. Ah oui, tu me rappelleras, d'accord? Oui, je, je, je le mets. Je... Ah oui, d'accord. Ah, ouais, non, non, je le mettrai dans mon téléphone, mais ouais. j'ai invité François aussi de venir. Ah, mais tout le monde. Tout D'accord, ah, ça marche. Ça déborde dans la rue. Ce voilà, qui n'est pas oui. difficile, hein. il suffit d'être six et on déborde dans la rue. Oui, mais... ouais, ouais, c'est <rire> euh, ouais, ouais, mais bon, c'est vrai que je n'ai pas envie qu'il y ait trop de monde, mais voilà. Moi, moi, de toute façon, je ne reste pas longtemps. Oh. Bah, tu mais verras, ça se trouve, il y aura plein de choses. Oui, oui, j'espère. Bah oui, on va danser. Exact, <rire> j'ai hâte. Ouais. Bonne soirée. Merci, toi Merci aussi. Merci. Merci, toi aussi. Merci. Ciao, à bientôt, Léa. So, where are we here? We are coming back to here. So I made a bunch of like waves on this uh, area right here. Uh, now I'm going to do the same with the dark gray, but think I, I think maybe I'll, I'll put the eyeballs in right now. And then I can do the dark gray afterwards. And then hopefully it'll dry and we'll do the black outline. I doubt it we do that today, or will we? Fucking A, man, I can't, can't unscrew my red paint. Oh, you fucking thing. Excuse the language, folks. Oh, you mother. Wow, acrylics, man, there we go. Oh, jeez, that is some, that is a good glue right there. So let me get a little bit on my palette. Let me get, move all this back to the bottom of the jar. I love this red, so, and it's not that easy to find, believe it or not. Uh, it's a cadmium medium red and I don't know it's because cadmium is becoming a more and more rare mineral but I'm having a hard time finding this red so I really want to be careful not to blow it or not to waste it I should say maybe sounds better than blowing it <laughs> but anyway so okay I'm going to use the cap as a palette, very good. So let me just clean off, clean off my knife. I mean, when you stream on YouTube, they give you the option, is this stream for adults or children? Is this stream for children? And of course, I always say no, because I just cuss so much. And, uh, that uh, I wouldn't want to hurt any poor little kid's ears. There are already so many adults that are shocked by... But things have changed. I must say, when I hear all the, the words, uh, the slang that is used on uh, TV nowadays, uh, even I'm slightly shocked because when I grew up, it was such a... A taboo, you know? I mean, we always knew that TV shows and movies in the States were always very violent compared to showing like uh, uh, naked uh, women, for example, uh, or breasts, you know, something that's been taboo on American TV since forever, which in France, uh, you go on the streets and you see commercials for brawls, uh, with see-through uh, brawls, and I mean, it's just, you know, you go to the beach here, and they're all topless as well, and have been for like 40 years, so 
kind of grew up in this stuff and you don't really pay attention to it until you go back to the States and you see how square, I mean, seeing a guy blown to bits and his head blown off, doesn't, no, no problem. But to show a nipple, oh my God, oh my God, which is, uh, I think, totally absurd and ridiculous, but whatever. And then they wonder why the country is so violent. Wow, let's not get in let's not get into that conversation. But I'm sure some somewhere it, it comes from that as well. We'd rather show violence on TV or in movies than uh, people making out. So this is still pretty thick. Just one more, maybe drop of water. I might have to put two coats of the red as well. I don't remember. Sometimes it works, one coat, and sometimes I, I add a second coat just to make sure that the red is nice and vibrant. I like my colors to be uh, uh, pretty intense. Okay, so this looks pretty good. I had pulled another brush off to do the eyeball. Maybe I'll just use the other, just for the little one. It's going to be right in here. Just like that. There's going to be, of course, the black outline around that. And then I can use this larger brush to do the actual eyeball. Should be able to be pretty precise. And I will switch cameras, of course, which I forgot to do. Do this. There we go. There we go. But I have to step back to take a look and see how the top part looks. There we go. Yes, I like it to be slightly curved on the top. Just like thick. Okay. Let me put my red paint back at the bottom of the jar. There we go. So it doesn't dry. Not sure when I'll be using this next. Okay, so now where are we at? We are here having a drink of water. Okay, very good. So I'm going to start working on the dark gray area to, uh, well, to put the details on. I didn't do all the details with the dark gray yet. And then I do more details with some black paint when I do the outline. So, but still, I want to make the, just add a little bit of shadowing to our painting. So what am I looking for? My knife. And there we go. So hopefully I didn't put too much black. I don't want it to be too dark either. I'm kind of just bull and jamming all this here. There we go. I don't know if 
I use this brush just to mix everything in. I'll blend all this together, make it nice and homogenous. I'm not sure it's going to be dark enough for some reason. Maybe it will be. We'll see when it's all mixed together. What is this piece of blob right there? I don't know. I'll blend everything in. There we go. So, this will not be dark enough. So I'm going to just add another little blob. Well, I can try it first, right? Yeah. It's not going to be dark enough, so I'm going to add some more black to this. So, Let's add another blob of black. There we go. Just add some water because it's extremely thick. Yeah, it's darkening up a little bit. That's what we want. Okay, so let's see what this does. Let me put this aside, this brush, and get that thinner brush out. Let's see what this looks like. Is this darker or lighter than what we had before? I can test it right down here. And it's slightly darker, which is fine. Oh, shit. Okay. Got carried away there. Let me get back to this lighter gray. Oh, I don't know why I'm worried about this. This is going to have black outlines. Okay. I'm just overthinking this whole thing. So let's get back to our darker grays in here. Again, we're going to just
just like that. There we go. So, I'm doing all this work and I forgot to switch cameras. <clears throat> so, let's switch over that to number one and I'll still work on this guy, add some details right down here. Just like that. Just like that as also. And I'm going to just kind of tone it down a little bit, just like that. There we go. All right, that's pretty cool. Now, same thing. I just want a little bit of a hint down in here. Just going to bring it. Also subtly on the bottom of this arm right there. And then I'm going to add like some shading on the bottom of the of the arm. Thank 
Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I want to be more subtle, unfortunately. Kind of fucked up. So I'm going to have to just add a little bit more of this, of the white paint, let's say. <clears throat> just to make my gray a little bit lighter, at least in one area of my palette. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I let my windows open. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. right. Shutters. Shutters. Right, the window. Yeah, yeah, good move. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Bye, Francois. Bye bye, you too. Okay, so I'm still trying to find the right tone here. Okay, so let me just step back, take a little look. Okay, very good. Uh, 
That's when I toned down a little bit that shading in there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, all well, this is gonna have black outlines. So let's go back over here, take a look from stepping back. Okay, so that's about done for that. Actually, the whole thing looks pretty much done for today. <clears throat> so, let me pull my camera back just so we can have a, a view from back here. There we go. And we'll just zoom in this guy here a little bit. Our painting right there. Down. A whisker like that. So, there it is. Our painting from camera number one. I mean, number two, I'm sorry, and there's camera number one. Just a different shot. And that is, that is basically it. So, once again, I want to thank you very much for joining me. I hope you'll join me tomorrow as we continue, probably do the outline and try to finish at least the center of our painting that the only thing we have left over will be the frame. Uh, and like that Monday we tackle the frame and uh, we'll be done maybe by Monday or Tuesday and get ready to start on a brand new painting by Wednesday. Sounds like a good plan. So my friends, thanks once again for joining me. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. I'm gonna leave you with my schedule like I always do. It is so simple. All you have to do is be here at 9 a.m. and I'll be here. 9 a.m. Eastern Time, U.S., of course. And um, so that's about it. So I'm going to leave you like I always do by saying, Ciao, mes amis.